वेलकम टू द नरेश टेक्नोलॉजी गाइस एंड टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वन ऑफ द लीड कोड क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज अ टू सम प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द लीड कोड ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड वील प्रोसीड अकॉर्डिंगली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील ट्राई टू राइट द ब्रूट फोर्स सॉल्यूशन फॉर दैट प्रॉब्लम एंड देन वील ट्राई टू ऑप्टिमाइज ओके सो कंसीडर दैट हियर यू हैव अ लिस्ट दीस आर द ऑल थिंग्स आर गिवन सपोज यू हैव अ 2 3 5 1 6 6 7 this is the list is given to you and one more variable is given which is a target correct and they are asking the things that you want the target sum as suppose 6 okay so you have to return the elements or the indices of the element which will give the sum as a 6 for example in the above example what i have to give in the above example what i have to give 2 comma suppose i am telling that i want the sum as a 6 so i can say that 5u1 is a one pair that it will give me the sum one right so you have to give the two two pairs only right so in this case only one pair is possible okay so for that i have to write first a brute force solution right so brute force way right so what we will do we'll take one variable which is pointing to this number correct and we'll take the second number which is pointing to this one right so every time we'll we will check that this i plus j equals to target if it is i plus j equals to target we'll append that element and we'll try to print it okay so how exactly my function is looking suppose i am writing here brute force brute force way here i will write the loop for i in a list okay i in a list right and again i will write the nested for loop for j or we can use the rent function also better that will be so i'll use i in a range of i in a range of 0 to len of lst minus or len of lst fine this one right now the next thing is j is pointing to the next element from the i so i will write j in a range of i can write here wo One or I can write simply i plus one to len of lst. Right, this is my j. Now every time what I need to check, I have to check that if lst of i, lst of i plus lst of j equals to equals to target. If this is the scenario, right? If lst of i plus lst of j equals to equals to target if you are getting this one then what you have to do i will take one list right so better i will take the list here empty list i am giving that as a name called result list so result equals to empty list now if this is a scenario what i have to do i have to take this lst of i and lst of j so what i will do here i will write here result result dot append i will append this lst of i or lst of j right this two things i will append this is the kind of pseudo code and then finally i will return the result which is written result now if you try to calculate the time complexity for this one here i need to pass the two parameter which is lst and target correct so if you have passed this two things okay so i will get the the element which is giving me the target sum now if you try to analyze this time complexity of this one the first loop will be goes up to n right maximum n comparison in the second loop it will goes up to n minus 1 comparison right so this statement is also executed n num n minus 1 times right so if you try to calculate the overall time complexity here which is t of n equals to order of n square right order of n square now what i have to do i have to reduce this time so in, if i go with the brute force way this is my brute force way it is taking the time as a order of n square now i have to reduce this time okay to order of n now my target is what i want a solution which will give me the time or which will solve this problem from order of n square to order of n 
right? I have to solve this problem from order of n square to order of n. Okay. Now the question is how to solve. So let me take the same question here, same example. So this is your LST and this is your target, correct? This is your LST and this is your target. For example, what I will try to do, I will make here, this is my LST and this is my target. We always know that we have to find such a pair. Suppose I am telling that first number is A and second number is B equals to target. If this is the scenario, you have to, you have to return that element A and B. Okay. So what should I do here? here? I will create one dictionary right? because every time we are comparing this element with the remaining element whether you are getting the sum or not right so what is the best approach I will convert or I will create one dictionary right in that dictionary also what I am trying to store here see we know that we want a number where a plus b equals to target I am getting correct now what I have to do I will take the a value a value from a list a value from a list I will take okay now because of the comparison our overall time is getting increased I will keep this B value inside the dictionary right I will keep this B value inside the dictionary right? B value inside the dictionary so I will compare this list value with the dictionary value right as we know that what is the beauty of dictionary whenever you are searching anything inside the dictionary it will be done in order of one time which is a constant time right so here you are iterating the n element of the list and every time comparison we require the order of n time because the elements are present in the dictionary correct so if you try to see in this way so I am comparing to because see now the question is how to get b first of all so we have a plus b a plus b equals to target okay. a plus b equals to target now what we have to get we have to get b so can i write b equals to target minus a we can easily write right so this b value i have to store inside the dictionary which is a target minus a so i will store this value in a dictionary correct so same way what I have to do, I have to iterate the loop, right? And I have to I have to store this value in the dictionary. Now what I will do every time, I will take this first element and I will compare, suppose I have given two, we know that, we know that one thing. A value is supposed to plus B, what is target? Target is 6, correct? Now I can do like this, B equals to 6 minus 2 which is 4. So I will check for the 4 whether this 4 is available in the dictionary. So I will get this searching in order of one time. So for n elements you, you are getting comparison and comparison and each comparison is, is, it is in order of one time. So if you compare this one with all elements the problem will be solved in overall order of n times. Right? So it is order of n times. So this is one of the optimized solution for this to some problem where exactly we are trying to implement the dictionary now see how will how will write this pseudo code for this one so i will write here def uh, to some i will write here to some i will pass here list comma target right then i have to create one small dictionary i will create here dictionary underscore one equals to empty dictionary okay now I have to iterate the loop so I will write for I in a range of 0 to len of LST correct I will iterate this one now what I have to do every time every time I have to I have to check that whether this element because I have to take the first element of this one so better to do one thing I will take this value into number n equals to LST of I first I will store this number into this one then what I will do I will, I will write here uh, result equals to result equals to target minus this n correct Right. I will write this result equals to target minus and now I will search whether this result element is present in the dictionary or not so what I will write here I will check here if if result if result in dictionary underscore one if it is present in this one I will simply return because in this time I am returning the index I will simply return here dictionary underscore one dictionary underscore one of result I wanted to re return this this index comma I right this I will return 
right if, if it is not a present in the dictionary what i will do i will write here because anyway if it is not a element so i have to put it into the dictionary so i will write here dictionary underscore one of result or i can write like this, this dictionary underscore n of equals to i right and then finally finally i will return this value i will return if this is not a case it will return empty right so if, if i try to run this code on the jupyter let me check what will be the problem so let me check i will paste the code here okay fine now i will take the same list for example suppose i am taking this list lst equals to suppose 2 3 5 6 7 8 uh, 1 correct and i want the target sum as suppose 6 right i am passing here print 2 underscore sum right i am passing here lst comma target right if i pass this one see here okay there is an indentation issue so let me check where exactly we are getting right. so fine let me move here tab okay fine fine this if is also come inside the if i will use the tab and this is one more. fine now let me check right again there is an issue of the indentation so let me this is the dictionary this is a for let me move this one tab result here we can do the indentation correct so from here i can move tab and here is the dictionary right and finally this return statement in the line of four right. let me check once I think uh, let me let me check this one okay fine there is a some sort of indentation issue but what this code will return guys this code will return the indexes where exactly you will get a sum six so it will return five and six so what is the index of this one if, if if you go to the pseudo code here what it will return it will return in this code what is the indexes okay so it will return the answer here uh, 0 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 so 2 and 6 it will return right so it will return the indices which is a 2 and 3 right so if you if you use the dictionary you will get the optimal solution here which is order of n right which is order of n fine so thank you so much guys okay